What's up you guys, Idea Fliptronic. So I'm going to be uh, helping you guys out if you're uh, trying to find the best place to uh, sell a broken iPhone. So you guys uh, definitely uh, pay close attention to what I'm going to say because it's going to help you out. Um, typically you guys, uh, if you have a broken iPhone, it's still worth some money. So uh, my two recommendations is to first go over to eBay. Now you can kind of get an idea what uh, what an iPhone that's broken is selling for by searching around and you know just seeing what um, you know what are things selling for typically. The reason that these uh, types of iPhones sell on eBay to begin with is that a lot of repair shops tend to you know buy these you know broken iPhones for parts. So if the LCD is still good, or they might take the inside of the iPhone and take out some of the parts inside it. So you know it it really depends on uh, whatever generation you're talking about as far as iPhones. It could be the 6S, uh, it could be the 6S Plus, or by the time you're watching this, it could be a newer iPhone or even an older one. But anyways, you guys, eBay is a safe place to go, and you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to sell for, and you could pick up some extra cash. I found that. You know, you can really the price really ranges. You can get anywhere from like seventy five bucks to you know a little bit over two hundred, depending on how new your iPhone is or you know what's wrong with it exactly. So um, you can still get some cash for it there. You don't have to pay the fees on eBay, but you know um, you also get the simplicity of being able to just you know sell it pretty quickly on there. Then your only other best option, you guys, is Craigslist. Now Craigslist may take a little bit longer, and you get a little bit more cash value for your broken iPhone, but you will, um, you know, you'll be able to sell it there too. And it's pretty much the same principle. Anybody who's going to buy a broken iPhone off of Craigslist is typically going to be a repair repair shop. So, uh, you know, probably a little bit more trustworthy. You'll probably be meeting with a business person, not, you know, just some stranger off of Craigslist. So either way, you guys, those are the two best options for selling a broken iPhone, you know, in 2016 and beyond. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I'd appreciate if you liked it, shared it. As always, you guys, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe to our channel.